What do we got? Speed of light. All right. I like the sound of that. All right, what do we got right here? What is that? Something. Something that we're spinning, but I don't know what it's for. Oh, okay. Okay. Activated the water. All right, thank God I didn't drown. <laughs> so we're just gonna swim across there. Oh, sorry. Sort. There's the end of the puzzle already. But what do we do with this barrel? Oh, looks like we gotta put it right down there. Cryosis, or whatever it's called. So that thing is not heavy enough for the sunken scoop. It's not as heavy as the sunken scoop, so what do I do? I feel like... I need to lower the water again. sure if I can or not. Okay, so now I blocked it. I gotta see if I can lower it. Some way, somehow. Can I push it this way? It's either always full or not. Yeah.
that was not the right way I wanted to go. No. Stop coming this way. I don't know if it matters which way you're pushing this thing. Hmm, do I have to swim over there as fast as possible? Probably. Because the ice doesn't stand up there. Ice breaks as soon as you lower it. So that means I cannot um, place ice there. Okay, I get it. It's the speed of light, so I have to move faster than the light, which is not hard. I just gotta do it. Don't I have some like speed potions or something? I have been sitting around for like fucking ever. Or speed anything? So, yeah, here we go. Hey, see, looks here. All right. Do I have anything higher than low level? Nope. Well, let's hope this works. All right. I messed up already. Start from the beginning. It's the process, but I understand it. Faster than light. Hold on, I need to actually put the fucking metal barrel on top of it. There you go. Faster than light. Experience tranquility. <laughs> right, I don't know why I decided to bust out some Zenyatta, but... How do I get up there? Uh, what's that up there? I see a ladder. Can I not use fucking, um... Cass's Gale or whatever in here? No, I can't. So I have to raise it, I guess? Raise the water? And then what? Like, fucking... Oh, make ice, probably. Alright, um, so am I gonna do that before or after I get this, uh, treasure? Probably after, so, fucking get this treasure, warp out, and then fucking come back in here and do the same puzzle again, I guess. That's fine. I figured it out. I figured it out. It was not that difficult. Easier than that fucking sledgehammer one.
we gotta go back in there, because we aren't done. I think we have to do the same challenge again, or at least just fucking raise a level, the water, then we can just freeze it and then fucking um, get that shit. It's not, it's not the extra bonus shit, just raise the water, freeze it, and then fucking get that treasure chest. Yeah. Because as he previously stated, Cannot raise, cannot freeze the water, and also lower it. Wait a minute, I can't get in here without the fucking thing being lowered. Alright, so there's more to this puzzle, or for at least the treasure chest than I thought. How am I gonna get this fucking treasure chest? Obviously, we need to do what? I'm here, the water is raised, so I have to swim back over there before it's lowered again. the switch again? I don't know if I can climb back in there after I lower the water though, that's the thing. One thing about Zelda games is that they make the player think a lot, yeah, that's the best thing about them. They're brain teasers. Every dungeon, every fucking mission, they're all brain teasers. That's why they're actually really great games and like, I'm honestly surprised that no one has made like another type of Zelda game just in their own vision or idea where like, oh yeah, the dungeons are fucking, you know, puzzles and shit. You no, know, Zelda's is it's, it's Zelda. Zelda's is his own genre. You know, it's like an adventure game that also has puzzles or dungeons and shit. You know, it's very fascinating how Zelda's the only franchise ever that does it. But I know exactly what you mean. They definitely make you think a lot, and this dungeon is making me think. I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do. Because if I hit the switch, the water will lower. But yes, uh, Salurius, I am very excited for Splatoon 3. Excited for new abilities, new specials, new guns. Hopefully they fix my jet squelcher, because it doesn't need the smoke ink mist or whatever. I'd much rather have fucking ink barrier. But we will see when Splatoon 3 comes out. What new guns they make, what new subs they have, and uh, what ultimates they have too. It is. As much as I love the Jet Squelcher, and it's my best gun, it's the only gun I know how to use, I would like to know how to use other guns, but I need the guns with good subs, good ultimates, and good range, because I value range. I value range, uh, ink economy, and swim speed, basically. I do not want to run out of ink in the middle of a, of a gunfight. But yeah, I'm very excited for Splatoon 3. It looks like it's gonna be like very different from like past games. Like just like the way like the game is gonna be, the fights are gonna be starting from the trailers. Like it looks like you're not gonna be all like huddled together at your little starting spot. Like it looks like everyone's gonna be like on their own little platform, and then um, I hope that's right. Maybe I should do another one. Fucking um, and, and then you all probably like launch to your own spot maybe or like your own location wherever you want on the map. So I'm really excited to see how that works. I'm excited to see the new guns and shit too. I think so far they show that there's a, a bow, like a crossbow or some shit. That would be interesting. I think we will likely be seeing the next gen Nintendo console in late 2024 or late, early 2025 with the addition of both new Smash game and Mario Kart. That's the crazy thing too. Like I don't know like. Yeah, maybe like a couple years, probably, the next Nintendo games, or the Nintendo Council, perhaps. But, why did you, why are you still moving? I do not need you to fucking go anywhere, so I gotta do this all the fuck over again, because this is moving again. 
I fucking hate this dungeon. This challenge has been worth my fucking while, that's for sure. Um... In terms of a new Mario Kart game, that's crazy, I don't know. Because, like, I swear to God, like, they're trying to make uh, Mario Kart 8 last forever, right? And then, um... For Smash, it's not that I don't think they'll make a new Smash game on another Switch. But I don't know if Sakurai is going to be part of it. Um, I just don't think Sakurai is going to be making another Smash game. Like, he might, but I doubt it. Like, you know, like, I know that he's, that guy's old, he has a, a bad back and bad shoulders. You know, I don't think he's going to be like you know, super heavy into it, like, maybe, like, you know, guiding the new young generation to do it and shit, right? And I think that's for the better, in my opinion. Not that Sakurai doesn't know what he's doing, but definitely, you know, for the better of his health and shit. Because, like, Nintendo's not going to stop making Smash games. It doesn't matter how many DLC characters they put in Smash Ultimate, they're not going to stop making Smash. You know, like, they, they're going to always make Smash for future generations to come and shit, so... There's no problem there, it's just, um, it's just like, you know, how are they gonna make these games and how are they gonna design them, what systems are gonna go on, and then who's gonna be the lead director of them and shit, you know? Mario Kart, I mean, I don't know, I think they're gonna keep milking the crap out of Mario Kart, honestly, because Mario Kart 8 having, what, 98 more tracks or whatever the fuck they said and shit, like, that's just... No one saw that coming, and my ass did not see that coming either. And I'm very skeptical of Nintendo, especially because of Mario Kart, because like Mario Kart is is my favorite one. So I was really skeptical for Nintendo in terms of Mario Kart Nine, and they said, "Oh, here's like 40 more tracks." And I was like, "Okay, that's a good answer," <laughs> you know. So like, I'm not like, I'm not like you know, sweating Nintendo when it comes to Mario Kart anymore, you know. What's gonna be real interesting is where they take the the Breath of the Wild format for the future. Like, obviously, Breath of the Wild Two is coming, so I think Breath of the Wild is gonna be like the fucking format for the rest of Zelda Forever and shit. It's not gonna be like, oh, fucking, you know, Breath of the Wild Two, then Three, then fucking Minish Cap again or some bullshit like that. Like, no, they're probably gonna be like, okay, like this is the Zelda Breath of the Wild timeline until we figure out what we want to do for the rest of the franchise and shit. You know. So, like, that's going to be interesting to see what they do. And then, like I said, for Smash, like, they're always going to develop Smash, but I don't think it's going to be Sakurai. Which, I'm okay. How did I miss that? Are you fucking me? Please don't hit that thing. Okay, I not hit that thing, so that's good. I don't know how I missed that, but... But, yeah. I mean, Mario Kart 9 will be great, you know, but I think Nintendo fucking sealed the deal with all this new DLC and shit. And then Splatoon 3. I don't know if this is going to be the last Splatoon game. I was not ready to get on this, by the way. I'm over talking about video games. Um, Splatoon 3. I don't know if it's going to be the last Splatoon game. I don't know if it's going to be the last Splatoon game on this fucking console. Maybe. Maybe Splatoon 4 will be on this Nintendo Switch DS or whatever. Oh my god. Yeah, like Splatoon 4 and Smash fucking 6 will probably be on the Splatoon fucking 3DS or whatever. Or the Nintendo Switch 3DS. You know? Whereas Mario Kart 9, I don't know if Mario Kart 9 is ever going to come out. Like, Maybe after all the DLC is out, and then like five years later, maybe, because like the DLC for Mario Kart 8 alone. Fucking thank you, Link. Fucking, um. Extended the game's lifespan by like fucking years. You know, the game's lifespan has already been fucking <laughs> multiple generations now. We're talking the Wii U, we're talking the Switch, and now there's DLC for this shit. So, like. Like, Mario Kart 9, 
is going to be good for a while, in my opinion. Okay. Hit this. Okay. Now that the bomb is still over there. I'm gonna put this fucking block right here. God damn it. Fuck. <sighs> no, stop showing me this cutscene every time I open this fucking door, Zelda. I already beat the, the temple, remember? He's like, look at the door! He's like, no, I, I know the door. Look at the door! <laughs> the door's not ready yet. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna do it a third time in a row. <sighs> uh, my god, someone help me. Link, put the barrel on top of the switch. No. Put the barrel... ...on top of the switch. Thank you. Goodness gravy. All right, and before I get too gung-ho over here, let me make sure I'm in position. I'm gonna open my bomb catalog, blow up this bomb, raise the fucking water. And then fucking freeze the water. Cause I don't know why this was so difficult for me. I mean, I figured it out without YouTube, but this was just like extremely hard for me to do for some reason. Oh, God almighty. Please be something worth my while. A giant boomerang? This massive boomerang requires two hands. Originally used for hunting. Hunt what? It was modified for use as a weapon. The blades on the inner curves make it a bit tricky to wield. Well, at least I got a giant boomerang for all that. I'll probably never really throw it, because I don't really like how boomerangs work in this game. But hey, we got it. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God. 